Good morning, dear FI students. Welcome to FI BAC Microbiology Practicals of Paper 101. Today, we are going to discuss regarding your practical preparation of stains, staining reagents, and standard solutions. Now, we all are aware about the word stains. What are stains? and what are staining reagents. Stains are something which will give or impart color to the practicals or color to the solutions which are used in the practicals. So now in this practical, I'm going to give you only the overview of the certain standard stains and staining reagents, which are usually used in the first year microbiology practicals, right? So first stain, as you can see, is the crystal violet. How it is made is given composition of crystal violet dye. Then it, uh, in this, we have to add absolute alcohol and then 1% ammonium oxalate. Then how we are preparing that is given. So here we will not go in detail of each and every stain, how it is prepared, because already it is with you. The list is there with you. We will generally or usually focus on the name of the stain and use of that particular stain. So this crystal violet is mainly used for monochrome staining and is used as a primary stain in gram staining. Second is the 2% negrosine where negrosine powder is mixed with the distilled water and it is used for the negative staining. Next stain in the row is the Gram's iodine. Name itself says that it might be used in the gram staining procedure, which is used for the detection of the gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So it's in its composition, we have iodine, potassium iodide and distilled water. Now it is used as a mordant in Gram's staining. Next is the 0.25% safranine. Safranine, there here we will dissolve it in the alcohol and then we will add distilled water and filter it and it is used as a counter stain in the gram staining. Next is a ZNCF that is Seal Nielsen's carboyl fuction. Then in its composition, carboyl fuction or basic fuction dyes there. Then 95% ethyl alcohol, phenol crystals are there and distilled water is there. And it is used in the spore staining and the acid fast staining. Next is the acid alcohol, where it's in its composition, ethyl alcohol and HCl, that is hydrochloric acid is there. It is used in acid fast staining as a colorizing agent. Next is malachite green. Malachite green will impart greenish color and it is used in the acid fast staining. Next is 1% negrosine. Pre previously we studied was 2% negrosine. Here it is 1% negrosine. It is used in the uh, as a decolorizer in spore staining, which you already have studied about spores. And it is used mainly in the method, which is known as Fleming's method. Next is the 5% malachite green. It is used in the spore staining in Scaffer's method. Next is the aqueous alcohol. Aqueous alcohol, again, it is used in the spore staining. So there is a series of reagents which are used in a particular staining. Next is the his stain. His stain generally contains about of crystal violet and distilled water. And his stain is used in the capsule staining. To identify the capsules in present in the bacteria, we use his stain. Also, we use 20% copper sulfate solution in again in his stain. Then comes the Congo red. 1% Congo red dye, which imparts the reddish color. It is used as a background stain as well as a decolorizer in capsule staining by Manville's method. Next is Manville's stain. So name itself says that it is used for the capsule staining by Manville's method. But here we are not performing that method. But what are the reagents which are used in Manville's stain are the phenol solution, acetic acid, FeCl3 and acid function. Next is 5% tannic acid. Tannic acid is dissolved in the distilled water and it is used as a mordant in cell wall staining by Webb's method. Aqueous crystal violet, again it is used as uh, uh, in Webb's method by uh, 
uh, in cell, cell wall staining. Again, aqueous Congo red, it is used as a decolorizer in cell wall staining in, by Webb's method. Next comes that is citalpyridine chloride. That is citalpyridinium chloride and it is mixed with the distilled water and then it is used in the Dyer's method for cell wall staining. Fontana's fixative. Fontana's fixative is composed of formalin, glacial acetic acid and distilled water. It is used as a counter stain in cell wall staining by the Dyer's method. Next comes Fontana's mordant, where phenol, tannic acid, and distilled water are mixed, and it is used in as a mordant in spirochet staining. Next is Fontana's stain, that is ammonical silver nitrate. It is composed of ammonia and AgNO3, and it is used in the spirochet staining by Fontana's methods. Next is the Albert stain. Albert stain consists of toluidine blue, malachite green, glacial acetic acid, ethyl alcohol 95% and distilled water. Now this is mixed by mixing the toluidine blue and malachite green in distilled water and then acetic acid and alcohol are added and then the solution is mixed well. This is used as, as a stain, Albert's stain, Albert's method where metachromatic granules can be known from the cell. Next is Leuvol's iodine. Again, this is used in the Albert's method of metachromatic granule staining. Leuvol's iodine consists of the normal iodine, potassium iodide, and uh, distilled water. Here was the list of the stains which are generally used in the practicals. Next is the preparation of various percentage solutions. So we all are aware, we have already previously understood and learned various different types of solution that is weight by volume solution and volume by volume solution. So these are the two major types of solution. Weight by volume solution in this case, solute is the solid one and the solvent will be the liquid one. We are able to see here how it is prepared and next one is the volume by volume solution so in this case solute is a solute is liquid it is added to the solvent and volume is made up to the 100 ml by adding more solvent next comes preparation of molar solutions and normal solutions so you all have studied in your previous years previous standards about this molarity, normality, molality, etc. So here is a brief concept given how molar solutions can be known or can be made, how normal solutions can be made. Next and last is the preparation of the normal saline, which is very much important and very much useful in various methods. It might be also used as the buffer so as to maintain the uh, high, uh, humidity or the hydro hydrocity of the uh, solutions. Here we have to mix 8.5 grams of sodium chloride and we have to dissolve it in the distilled water. One liter distilled water, we have to add 8.5 grams of the sodium chloride. So it will make the normal saline solution. So dear students, this is the list or this is the uh, material which you can see and which you can learn and understand how we will make various stains and staining reagents. Of course, it, of course, at FIBSC level, you do not have to make any stain by your own, but you should be aware of, you should be able to understand that preparation of one stain, how they are mixed, whatever things are added. So you should have an overview of this. I hope you all are very much clear with the things, whatever we have discussed. Thank you so much for understanding. Thank you.